Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all staying awesome. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the ND filters that come with your Mavic Air 2 and doing a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to use them. If you've not seen my previous video on using ND filters for drones, check it out here. That goes into a lot more detail, but in this one, this is just going to be a quick start guide for your Mavic Air 2 ND filter set. So let's jump into the video. Okay, so we've just taken off with the Mavic Air 2 and let's find out what the shutter speed is running at in auto mode. One thing I like to have on is the overexposure warning. You can turn this on by clicking the three dots in the top right corner. And then by moving the slider to the right on the overexposure setting, it will turn it on. Now if we hit manual mode in the bottom right corner, you can see that we have all these black and white stripes across the screen. This is the overexposure warning. It's telling us that our image is too bright. So let's adjust the shutter speed to get the image to the correct exposure. We can use the meter gauge to help us dial it in. Zero is what the camera thinks is the correct exposure. So with a shutter speed of 1600, we are at the correct exposure for these conditions. This is what the shutter speed would approximately be if we was in auto mode. You can see the footage straight from the drone is pretty good. But we're not getting the most natural looking blur if we leave these settings as they are. At this present moment I'm recording at 30 frames per second. Now to get the most natural looking motion blur you want your shutter speed to be double that of your frame rate. So because I'm recording at 30 frames per second, ideally I'd want my shutter speed to be that of 60. If I was recording at 24 frames per second, then I would need a shutter speed of 50. And if I was recording at 60 frames per second, then I'd need a shutter speed of 120. I won't go into the science of why this gives you the most natural looking motion blur. But if you want to know why this is, you can Google it afterwards. So we need to lower our shutter speed down from 1600 to 60 in this situation to get the most natural looking motion blur. Now if we put the shutter speed to 60 as it is, you can see the image is really overexposed. So what we need to do is land a drone and give it some sunglasses or an ND filter. To put an ND filter on the Mavic Air 2, you first need to remove the outer frame. This has no glass, so gently rotate it anti-clockwise. Now an ND16 will be good for a bright day like today, and a ND64 will be good for a really bright day. So in this situation, I've chosen the ND16. Pull it onto the face of the camera and gently twist clockwise, ensuring that the ND filter is attached. Okay, so let's take the drone off again. Now with the shutter speed at 1600 we can see our image is really underexposed now, meaning it's really dark. This now gives us the opportunity to lower our shutter speed and get as close to our best setting which is 60. Let's have a look at the footage straight from the drone's camera as we do this. Slowly we get the correct exposure with a shutter speed of 60. And now we will get the most natural looking motion blur from the drone's camera. Okay, so there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Basically, you're using your ND filter set to uh, control your shutter speed. Uh, you want it to double your frame rate to get the most natural looking motion blur from your footage. Remembering that also when you're flying your drone, you are introducing movement into still objects. So you're going to get a nice blur to your movement shots from your ND filter set. Now with the Mavic Air 2, it does come with an ND filter which is 256. This isn't used for video, or it can be used for video, but you wouldn't really use it for video. You'd use this for long exposure photography. We'll show you how to use this in a follow-up video. So if you enjoyed this uh, video, please give it a like, which is, I always get the wrong side, so a like button, which is down there. And if you want to see further content from myself, why not subscribe to my channel? Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay awesome, guys.